Hello, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Former, and I would like to give you a history on why the People's Common Law Grand Jury slowly was eliminated, was slowly erased and eliminated from any future use. Well, it all started back in 1946, the Bar Association decided that the People's Common Law Grand Jury was no longer affected. It was old and out of date, just like the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the Constitution. Well, the reasonings behind that, why the Bar Association the attorneys, the judges, the district attorneys, and the public defenders, they're all, which they are all a part of the Bar Association, why they eliminated the, uh, the People's Common Law Grand Jury. They did it for their reasons. They wanted to benefit. They didn't want the, uh, the fourth branch of government to be active anymore. And they basically hijack our traditional, our traditional, and the right to due process. Uh, they hijacked the traditional system and the right to due process, so on and etc. And they did it for their benefit, not the benefit of we, the people of the United States. Um, they didn't want the fourth br branch of government to no longer exist, which was controlled by we the people. They did it for their benefit, the uh, Bar Association, I'm referring to uh, the attorneys, the judges, the uh, district attorneys and public defenders, they're all associated with the Bar Association. They took con full control after they eliminated the People's Common Law Grand Jury back in 1946. They did it for their reasons. They wanted to uh, have control. They didn't want to have jury members that were educated uh, or people that were properly educated. And they didn't want to have the fourth branch of government overseeing our uh, civil servants and keeping them in line. They basically perverted and corrupted our judiciary system. And they hijacked it basically back in 1946. And to give you more inf info on why the Bar Association and the League of Attorneys uh, hijacked our political system, they wanted to, well basically, they write all the, uh, the laws known as statues and ordinances are which affect the uh, local, county, and state on the state level, all those levels. And they also write the uh, federal acts to benefit them, to benefit the attorneys and the uh, a bar association. And believe me, it, they truly benefit from writing all the uh, ordinances and the statutes on a local, county, and state level and the federal acts. They, they benefit all together. It just benefits the Bar Association and the attorneys. Uh, well, we've, uh, we the people in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, certain counties have already reinstated the common law grand juries here in Allegheny County, uh, Lawrence, Beaver, Butler, Westmoreland County, and uh, I believe Aries sometime with sometime soon within this week with with within this week it may be Tuesday uh, that will be tomorrow. October 8th at 6.30, I believe. Uh, you can look that information on 
up on the meetup group for Alliance, Liberty Alliance. That's the meetup group on meetup.com. It will give you more information. Uh, I support, I will support the, uh, that county to ha have a successful election of reinstatement of the common law grand jury in Erie County. We need to bring back the fourth branch of government which is ran by the people so we can oversee our civil servants on a local level, county and state. And we can prosecute any uh, civil servants that are breaking the common law of the land which is uh, the, the state constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. That's the common law for the, for the Commonwealth and the U.S. Constitution. And we could save our God-given inevitable rights. Uh, all the our Commonwealth of Pennsylvania state constitution and the U.S. Constitution is based from the uh, Ten Commandments and the Holy Bible. We are truly a Christian nation and our state constitution and U.S. Constitution is based from those biblical holy Christian writings which is the Ten Commandments and the Holy Bible. And this is to prevent the Bar Association from further having control over we the people here in the Commonwealth and all over the United States of America and to prevent them from writing any statutes or ordinances or federal acts that will benefit them, the attorneys and the Bar Association and anybody, any judge or uh, district attorney or public defender that's associated through the a bar association. We gotta stop the bar association from writing unlawful and unconstitutional uh, laws through the uh, the acts, the federal acts which is on a federal level and the statutes and ordinances that are on the local, state, the local, county, and state level. And I, Mike Fulmer, Patriot of the Republic, support the com to for give full support for the common law, people's common law grand jury here in Allegheny County and the rest of the 67 counties throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Uh, well, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer, saying, hasta la vista, and God bless everyone. Take care, and hope everyone enjoys these n little news clips that I, uh, or video clips that I, that I post up on my YouTube channels. Okay, thank, thank you, and God bless. Take care, everyone.